aircraft carrier Fajian, also known as the Type 003, was launched in Shanghai, China, on June 17, 2022. The carrier is comparable in size to the U.S. Navy's Nimitz and Ford classes. China has launched its largest and most impressive aircraft carrier to date. The Type 003 carrier rivals the U.S. Navy's carriers in size, the first non-American carrier to do so. The carrier is a growing part of China's naval ambitions. A new aircraft carrier, Type 003, has been launched. They are similar in size to the U.S. Navy's Ford and Nimitz-class supercarriers. It is the first non-U.S. airline in the world to approach. The Type 003 is comparable in size to the U.S. Navy's Nimitz and Ford classes. And the designs are similar in many ways. At the same time, it is an evolution of the first two Chinese Navy PLAN, aircraft carriers. It is built on Soviet technology. The first, the Type 001 Liaoning, CV-16, is the former Kuznetsov-class aircraft carrier, for Yacht. The then unfinished vessel was sold to China as scrap in 1998, whereupon it was completed and entered Chinese service in 2012. The second aircraft carrier, the Type 002 Shandong, CV-17, is a locally built vessel. It has a lot of minor improvements over the first ship but is on par. The most noticeable difference in the Type 003 is the switch from ski jump to catapult. Older carriers launched aircraft under their own power from the ramp in front of the flight deck. The Type 003 will have three catapults, much like the US Navy aircraft carrier. Open Source Intelligence OSINT, confirmed that the carrier, named Fujian, was launched on June 17th in Shanghai, China. Naval News has been following its construction prior to launch and has been watching the leading indicators. Ten years after China commissioned its first aircraft carrier, the Fujian Type 003 will further expand and mature the capabilities of the Chinese Navy. This is part of a shift to a true blue water navy, operating in the Pacific and, if requested, globally. The Type 003 carrier will be the newest and best carrier in China's service. It is expected to carry the latest J-35 fighter, China's answer to the F-35C Lightning II. However, the J-35 is a twin-engine aircraft, a characteristic traditionally favored for naval operations. Diving late to the game, Chinese designers benefited from decades of research and development by others. Going through the intermediate steps, this new operator incorporates a lot of the latest thinking. Like the US Navy's Ford-class carriers, the catapults are Imel's electromagnetic aircraft launch system. It uses electricity instead of traditional steam, which should provide several advantages. The system takes up less space and should be able to launch aircraft at higher speeds. At the same time we must not underestimate the importance of the Chinese Navy's own lessons. They have operated the carrier for 10 years and have developed training, procedures and infrastructure. In recent months, the Liaoning's first aircraft carrier has been operating in the open waters of the Western Pacific. Japanese defense officials noted that more than 100 aircraft launches had been carried out. This shows a significant operational tempo. This is an indication of growing trust and credibility in the carrier game. At the same time China is building infrastructure to support operators. Naval bases in Sanyang Yulin and Hainan in the South China Sea are being expanded. A large new dry wharf, big enough for an aircraft carrier, had been built there. And the nearby Lingshui Air Base, which houses transport planes when they are in port, is being upgraded. The significance of the new operator is not a gradual improvement over the previous one. Having three carriers will give China a greater power projection capability for the Chinese Navy. As a blue water fleet, China will be able to deploy its carrier strike group with greater frequency. It would also be able to bring in multiple carrier battle groups to deal with a situation. This may have tactical and strategic relevance. There is an increase in carrier capability around the world. The US Navy still has a huge advantage, but China will take second place in terms of numbers and size. Despite facing competition, Britain has revived its pioneering capabilities, and France is building a new aircraft carrier in the same league as China. But China may not finish with three. Currently only America and France have nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. Defense analysts are eyeing China's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to keep up with the Type 003.